Okay, cool. Now our site's really starting to come together. Let's go ahead and change this navigation menu so that it's dynamic. And what I mean by that is we'll be able to go in from the admin section. So I'm going to command click on this right here. You can also right click and say open link in new tab. If I command click, it does the same thing. And it takes me to the admin screen. And remember, if you were logged out of admin, uh, and I'll simulate that. So if I click this log out, it would look like this and your website would have looked like this. Okay, and this is what it's gonna look like to the public. But if you were logged out, you would wanna go up here to your URL and then type in, and remember your URL is gonna be different from mine, type in forward slash WP dash admin. Okay, and hit enter. And you'll be taken to that login screen and then just simply put in your information that you used when you set up WordPress and installed it. Okay, so what I'm talking about here, I'll click that to go to the site. Okay, so we have the admin tab open here. We've got the main site for the public open here. So this navigation menu, the cool thing about WordPress is it makes it really easy for us to make these dynamic. That means we can control what shows up here by going into the admin section and setting it. So let's do that. The first thing we need to do to make that happen is go over here to our code and we're going to pull up the functions.php file. Okay, so we looked at that a little bit ago. It's under WP content, under themes, and then our theme here called custom theme, and then functions.php. Okay, so in here, we're going to continue to add to this and we'll reorganize it later, but I'm going to go ahead and add a few lines. So this is doing its job of bringing in bootstrap CSS and then our CSS file right there, which is right here. And then below this, we're going to add some more code. So we're going to do this. We're going to create a function in PHP and we're going to give it a custom name. We'll just call it custom theme underscore setup and then add parentheses and then curly braces and then in here, we're going to add this special WordPress function. And it goes like this, register underscore nav underscore menus, just like that. And then this thing accepts a parameter. That means we can put something inside the parentheses to help it out and get it to work for us. So the way we do that, we're going to break it out into multiple lines is we're going to say array. And we're going to put something in this array. Let's kind of clean this up a little bit. And we're just going to say primary. We'll just call our navigation the primary navigation here. We're going to set it equal to two underscores and then parentheses. We'll say primary menu give it a name for the admin section and then a name here custom theme the name of our theme okay and we need our semicolon right there and there we go so now we've added some chunk of code that will allow us to kind of register a custom menu for our admin section now how did I know to do this I'm going to show you later on in the course where you can go to really read about this stuff and dig in um, I'll give you all those resources, but if you're curious right now, simply just go to WordPress theme development in Google. And the first few results will be from the WordPress, after you skip the Google ads, the first few results over here will be like codex.wordpress.org, where it says theme development, developer.wordpress.org. These are all the WordPress organization websites where you can kind of read about this stuff but anyway I just want to point out that this is where you can kind of dig in to find out how to use these things to your advantage so the point of this tutorial is to make that easy and kind of demystify it for you so let's keep going here so we've got this set up now I'm gonna go ahead and save this and what we're gonna do next is add one more line below it Okay, we're going to do what we did right here with this add action thing. And I'm going to explain it one more time for you. So add 
underscore action. And then in here, we're going to say after setup underscore theme. And then again, in quotation marks, we just grab this name that we came up with custom theme underscore setup and put it inside those quotation marks. Let's format this cleanly and then add our semicolon. Okay, so I'm going to save that. So really quick, I want to explain what we did here and kind of what we're doing here. You're going to see this kind of format constantly in the functions.php file, whether it's your own theme or somebody else's theme. So what's happening is this. I want to give you a metaphor. Think about it like this. When you wake up and kind of get ready for work or school or whatever you've got going on, you'll do an order of operations. There's a few steps you might take. You might start with something like wake up and get out of bed, brush your teeth, take a shower, eat breakfast, so on, right? So the point is that there is a sequence of events that happens, and WordPress is the same way. Whenever we refresh or whenever we load it up on a browser or somebody hits our site, what's happening is a sequence of events goes off. And one at a time, these things happen all in a split second before this page even loads. And we don't see it happen because the internet loads this data so fast in most locations. Now, here's the thing. What's happening here with these functions is that we are able to kind of jump in and hijack one part of these, this sequence of events and then add our own custom event. So for example, going with this metaphor, we could jump in where you brush your teeth and say, oh, also, let's do something custom today. We're going to allow you to also use a new toothbrush that is electronic. So that's a silly example just off the top of my head. But what I'm saying is that these may be your normal routine, those two and these two. But we can jump in and add a new routine, a new part of your routine. And that's what we're doing here. What we're saying is that when you do this add action line right here, the first thing you're passing in, the first set of quotes, these are established WordPress kind of hooks, as we call them. So those would be the equivalent of brush your teeth. This one would be the equivalent of in Q scripts, so something like that, one of these. It's just one of your standard ones. The one on the left is always something that WordPress is already doing. Okay, The one on the right is our custom code, and you usually write it just above it right there. So we just wrote this function. We said we also want to do this when this happens. So when someone brushes their teeth, we also want to do this custom bit of action. And that's what's going on when you use this add action. You're saying, okay, when this happens, when WordPress loads this up by default, because we know this happens at some point during the load up, well, we want to jump in at that point and hook in and do our thing, which we define right here. Okay, so that's a breakdown of how add action works. And I just wanted to really dig in and clarify that. So how would I know where to get these, again, you go to the documentation and you'll see that there are just a few key hooks. In fact, I'll show you exactly where. If you search for plugin API hooks, WordPress, if you search those four words in Google, you'll find a web page called plugin API forward slash hooks, and they'll give you an entire list of the action reference right here. And you can kind of go through and see what each of these do and kind of when they happen in the sequence of loading up. And there's an admin side and then there's your public side. Just like we have an admin side here that loads up and then the public facing side over here. Okay, so I just wanted to make that clear. Okay, and this is only part of our custom nav. We're going to add a little bit more in the next video.